Ahoy! While we rearrange my room, I'm gonna talk. Um, because I used to do this so much. I used to just gab and yeah. I have all of these petals that I just like, I had them sitting here. And I had, this is my little like shrine of spiritual knickknacks and shit. And I put it all over here. And I've just been like rearranging everything and trying to make my space less cluttered and clearer and like something I enjoy a little more stresses me out a little less um I definitely have like too much stuff for this amount of space but it's because I do a lot of things and I do it this is the only space I do it in I have to have space to record self tapes to make interceptor content to create the fucking music to practice music and to just chill to make youtube videos to make gaming videos blah 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 blah, blah yap, yap, yap. something i talked about in my video social media and what it does to my mental health and sense of self almost four years ago now. i talked about how everybody like, has this little gripe with it everybody that i know everybody that i talk to like what it does to our mental health is the opposite of desirable but at the same time something that i think is super interesting about tiktok is that with all the other social medias the number of followers and engagement you had sort of were in a similar range. You could have a ton of followers and low engagement and you know that made sense but like TikTok is like chaos. There is no consistency and nobody even cares about the consistency and I find that very interesting because it's it's a chaotic fucking app. It's a chaotic career. People who are full-time TikTokers that's fucking chaotic. People will get consistently hundreds of thousands of views, maybe even millions, and then they'll post an ad and it'll get like a hundred likes. And I'm like, whoa, that's so weird. Method A, method B, method C. Give you three different options. Which one do you choose? Just your choice. The fuck? Oh, it's how you want it to look at the end. Whoa. Okay, I see. I just, that was a little confusing. Okay, if I'm being honest. Definitely, I'm struggling with fears of nothing working out and you know being endlessly in a state of just like perpetual desire to be somewhere else and i'm gonna drop that immediately right now and it's something that i've been working on dropping and i think i did a really good job of dropping it and i'm just gonna do it again i'm just gonna drop that feeling because you know what it's not even fucking real it does not exist okay so i have three different sizes here i also have shelves on the wall over there so maybe i just keep it a little more like I just don't want shelves, shelves everywhere, everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna make them hang on the wall like this. I like the little bookends. So I just drill right in. I just drill right in. I think another huge trend on like social media these days is complaining. And there is so much to fucking complain about. And the world we live in is super fucked up. And I think something interesting that I heard yesterday was that the world was more fucked up at other times. And... The world is always going to be fucked up, you know, until we reach collective fucking nirvana. There's always going to be so much to complain about. And social media really gives you a license to do that. I think there's a difference between complaining and valid issues that really need talking about and awareness spread and conversations to be had about them. But I think there's also a level of just like complaining that we become complacent about and even we share in. And I think it's like... It honestly can be quite comforting to hear somebody complain about an issue that you yourself are not, you know, super content with. But then we... What I find is that then there's just this lack of, like, positive energy in that. And I don't mean, like, positivity. I mean, like, there's a lack of motivation and accountability and, like, personal self-responsibility that people need to take over their lives sometimes. Hello? Oh my god! <laughs> The thing is, like, when people complain about stuff too much, it gets hard to kind of get out of that. <laughs> You're just like, oh, well, everything sucks, so why should I even be trying? What? Why isn't this, like, straight on this wall? Oh my god, what the fuck? Is the wall not straight or is this shit not straight? Oh, no, it's okay. Okay, that looks pretty straight to me. Oh, I can't really see. <laughs> Yeah, period. I came across this guy who lives in Hawaii and he makes like day in my life in Hawaii videos. And he literally got up, went on a 13 mile run, went to the beach, 
like I went to the farmer's market. I had such a beautiful, wonderful day in Hawaii. There was part of me that was so afraid to make content like that, showing off such a beautiful life, because it felt like there's so much tragedy in the world, there's so much to complain about, there's so much that's unfair, there's so many people that might never get to experience a day that chill just because of the circumstances they were born in. That, to me, was so deeply unfair and like, I could not fathom it. Like, it just made me so upset. But I watched that video last night and I was I'm like, so happy to be watching this video. This guy is emanating this joy and this like freedom and and I'm I'm just so soothed by the video and I'm I, just really enjoying this content. You know, it sort of like loosens something in me a little bit to be like, you making yourself happy makes other people happy and you living the best possible life for yourself is what creates good energy that emanates from you and affects other people in a positive way. And right after that video, I watched some guy who like went on this spontaneous trip and he was like, started off the video by saying, on average, people live to like 79 or whatever in this country, which means you have on average 79 summers and 79 winters to do what you can with. And I was like, 79? I got 25! And I immediately ordered these shelves and now I'm installing them. <laughs> Because I was just like, there's no time to waste. I need to get my petals off the floor and onto the wall. I need to get my life organized. I need to stop shitting the fucking bed with organization, scheduling, and planning because like, there's so much I want to do and experience, so much I want to share. Should like, I make them both hanging or should I make one hanging and one like propped up? Because I think the propped up ones look kind of cool too, but that might look stupid next to each other. I also don't want to do what I did right there, which, you know, with those shelves. I want it to look slightly different. I think two hanging is gonna be okay. Yeah, like this, I think. Yeah, this is so cute. Is that too close to you? Whatever. Yeah, I know. Wow, these shelves are from like Amazon Basics and they are so good. Like they're just, that was so easy to install. You can look here. <laughs> I just have so much actual shit in my room and in my life. I'm just trying to clear it out and organize it and like get it up off the fucking floor. Somebody was talking about like seasons of shedding and seasons of like collecting. And I really feel like I'm in a shedding season, but I'm like afraid to like let go of a ton of stuff. I don't keep a ton of stuff that's like useless. Like I have little knickknacks here and there. For the most part, I literally use everything I have, so. No, these don't fucking fit. Oh my god, this is such insane decoration. This is so funny. I literally just wanted to get them off the floor, but now they're literally my wall decoration. If you're a guitar player and you came in here and you saw that. La, la, la. They're just like not even meant to be standing up like this. <laughs> I can put more stuff on there too, like... I have this, like, little Nashville fucking thing with a guitar in it. That fits perfectly. It looks so fucking funny. Literally, I don't know a single person that displays their pedals like this. Oh my god. I just, I don't have a pedal board. I have nowhere else to put them. They were just sitting on the floor of my fucking room. So, this is at least better than that, I feel like. My burnt pie. Oh. I was, I was like in for a treat. I was like full pizza, leg day pizza, <laughs> play the games. Play the games. Burnt to shit. Sorry, I'm, a, I'm pretty shaky right now. A little nervous? Wow, you really are. <laughs> you sleep too much. Open it. Uh, 
and to not inhale my armpit. Be sorry. You didn't do that the whole way? Yeah, but trust me, it, it will be fast. I can do that part. It's a bit of an art <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Hit my pinky and I. <laughs> well, my arm will rain it down on you. <laughs> Raising up onto my toe. I literally went. Mm. Your foot's still behind the chair, by chance. It is. Per chance. <laughs> May Oh, we're so close. This is the closest we've ever been. This is honestly such a magical tool. Yeah. I'm just gonna give this part a whirl. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yep, that's it. Wow, you're a lot slower than me. Oh! Oh my god! Ah. I think I can actually just do both of them at this point. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Oh. Oh. My left arm is on fire. Oh my god, my lefty. <laughs> <laughs> my righty! Lefty, no! Yeah, look at you! A wizard with so red. A wizard with so ratchet. A ratchet wizard. A ratchet. Why is it taking so long? Because you're going inches at like centimeters across the line. This is way better than. Remember the first time it was? Yes. Yeah. I. I. Oh! <laughs> Pisses themselves. <laughs> I'll have your strongest, blackest scum. <laughs> oh, I'm actually more tired now. Probably doesn't affect me. I'll have seven more. Uh, are your fingers sweating? Sorry. What is that? I wiped my nose, okay? Ew. You should have said yes. Sorry. I'm glammy. Uh, Ow. Oh. Bad idea. Still doing. I hate this thing. Okay, I can do it. Okay. Well, going really quick there. Well, Lefty is squealing. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Fucking hell. It looks like it's always gonna have a little room to wiggle. No. Well, it's supposed to pull the fucking teeth. Yeah. Mm, well, yeah, once yeah, they're, they're in. Um! Oh, my God. And this is how my hands really look. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the truth of those hands. <laughs> and they're a lot thinner, actually, than the camera. And they're actually really dainty and elegant. And I've been asked. To Two hand model before. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> Wait, can you hold it real quick? My arm's gonna fall. Okay. That's not the right angle. Okay. Oh, oh. Maybe. 
Um, ooh, it just went. How does one do this? I'll go from high. Yeah. Check it for what? Oh! Nice. <laughs> Is it in? Yeah. Spotting you. Thank you. Look at this. Now look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Well, dude, imagine the movie nights. Oh, true. So which way do we need to go? Uh, this. Ah, oh, bitch. That. You shit under there? Stop dropping things. I'm falling out. I'm so... Shit, falling out, bud. <sighs> and it's like down. Oh. Yep, exactly. Is it perfect now? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Hard to tell because it's so far away from the wall, but yeah, it looks pretty sure. Oh, yeah, it's in the center now. Oh, good. well, that seems correct. It does. Well, it's so odd that it's so to the side of these two. Uh -huh. <laughs> this has been such a fucking. Then why did you just now decide that you wanted? Clearly, to... that was a lot. Of... <laughs> it's really high up, man. Shall we change where it's placed? Yes, I think we shall. It folds in like this. <laughs> Check this out. Folds. <laughs> Project. Huzzah. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm so tired, but I wanted to do that. I feel like this place is really coming together. Uh, it's only been like a year and a half. When I first ever installed this, I installed it right there, and it was right under this, which produces heat, which will literally kill a guitar and make it crack. And it did, it killed my acoustic guitar. Um, but luckily I just humidified it for a couple weeks and it like sprung right back to life. It's actually this one right here. Um, and it's all good now, but I didn't put a guitar there ever again. But now it's in a much better place. <laughs> I just threw this up to like hide the cables and also because I love having that up. That was made by Chris. Thank you so much. I literally have had it up for like as long as I've had it. <laughs> um, it just is very special to me. Yeah, I vacuumed and shit and I just put things away and like, oh, I'm so exhausted but I'm so happy like this. This is so such a fulfilling thing to do. I feel like I had gotten my room to a place where I liked like so many times. Like now it really feels like okay, almost everything has a place. Having a place for the TV and my guitar. My guitar was just like standing there for like such a long time because I didn't want to keep taking it in and out of its case. All my guitars have a spot. I think my Monstera is a lot happier there than it was over here. And yeah, these plants are doing so much better because the sun hits them right there. Oh, yeah, I feel very happy. I feel good. This feels really good. It was good to like take on a project. I need to take a shower. I'm, I'm so, honestly, so steamy. Oh, I might, I might use the TV tonight. <laughs> I would sage the room to clear out the energy, but I'm just like, honestly fucking exhausted. I'm gonna go take a shower, but I am gonna light the first incense. You know you like organize and get rid of shit and like clean up your space and it feels like a brand new room and you just need to reset the energy and clean it out. 